Hello again, everybody. Uh, this is another Daily December update. Um, yeah, I know I uh, I wanted to try and, and, and get this out last night, but uh, I was exhausted, and so I just went to sleep. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I saw my... Uh, I'm, 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 I'm also waiting for the... the Valium to kick in so I can go take a shower and attempt to shave because remarkably enough having an extremely sharp object scraping across your skin around you know very important veins and arteries that <laughs> supply blood to your brain while your body randomly jerks and shakes, it's not a great idea. So I have to wait for the volume to kick in uh, b before I can shave. Uh, and this is getting relatively un uncomfortable. Anyway, n enough about that. So I saw my, my doctor yesterday, and the basics of it are um, we talked about chemical half-lives, which I still don't 100% understand, but apparently has something to do with how your body kind of metabolizes the medicine. Um, my very limited understanding is the half-life of like a drug is how long it takes um, your body to metabolize half of the drug. That's why half-life, I think. I don't actually know because even when I asked my doctor because he kept saying half-lifes and things like that. And I'm like, the only half-life, well, there's two half-lifes I'm familiar with, one of which is a first-person shooter that really doesn't need to be in my bloodstream, and the other uh, has to deal with uh, radioactive elements and how long it takes for them to become inert. And I know I'm not putting radiation in my body, so this half-life thing doesn't make sense to me. Um, so anyway, different drugs metabolize and get out of your system in different different ways. There's some drugs that um, are out um, in a matter of hours. Uh, there are other drugs that take days or weeks to fully uh, get out of your b bloodstream and everything. Um, fluoxetine... Um, uh, which is the generic version of Prozac. That's the that's the SSRI that I was on that's caused all of th this. Um, apparently has a half-life of about nine days. Um, so a single uh, dose, um, half of it will go through your bloodstream in roughly about nine days. Again, um, the, 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 the interesting thing about half-lifes is uh, that doesn't mean in two half-lives it's, it's all gone. Like if you, if you look into radioactive half-lives, uh, like let's say um, you know uranium-238 or something like that, I don't know, um, has a half-life of 14 days, that doesn't mean that the entirety of uh, the uh, – like let's say you have a pound of this uranium, that doesn't mean in – uh, 28 days, all of the uranium uh, is now uh, inert, and I think it, uh, uranium turns into lead, I think, I don't know. Um, what that means is in 14 days, instead of half, uh, instead of a pound, you have half a pound, but the half-life of that half a pound is still 14 days, so in, in, in another 14 days, you have a quarter of a pound, and then in another 14 days, you have an eighth of a pound. And it goes on like that. And so that's how radioactive half-lives work. I don't know if that's how these chemical half-lives work. But since they're using the same name, I would assume it works in a similar manner. So according to my doctor, the, the, the basic rule of thumb for medication is three half-lives are how long it takes for it to be completely out of your system. So, uh, and it takes uh, uh, three half-lives for you 
to have it in your system enough that it's it's actually affecting you the way that it's supposed to. Um, that's why you know if you're on antibiotics, they don't just give you one pill and go, okay, that's it. What they do is they give you enough to get you fully on the drug so that it's constantly in your bloodstream and doing the things that it's supposed to do long enough to do what it's supposed to do. That's another reason why it takes uh, six to eight weeks for most um, antidepressants and things like that to take full effect um, because it takes a while not only for it to, to, to fully get into your bloodstream on the levels it's supposed to, uh, but also when you're dealing with brain chemistry, it takes a while for the drugs to actually start doing uh, for, for what they're doing to actually start affecting your mood and uh, uh, things like that. So anyway, so basic math, nine days times three is 27 days means roughly it'll take a month for the drugs that I took, the fluoxetine, to get out of my system. So as of right now, I still have fluoxetine in my system, meaning it's still um, SSRI is what uh, uh, means selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Uh, what that that means is in in your brain, there's all these neurochemicals. Serotonin is one of them. It's one of the ones that's been linked to depression and I think anxiety as well. Um, so what what happens is in a, a brain that's not working the way that it's supposed to, uh, your um, I think they're called synapses uh, in your brain. Um, to get from one to the other, what happens is uh, the end of one releases serotonin, and then the start of the other takes, uh, takes in the serotonin, and then it transfers it down, and that's how all that stuff goes through your brain. Well, when it's not working the way that it's supposed to, the brain in, uh, is designed to self-regulate. So if the serotonin is being put out, but the other uh, 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 brain cell that I can't remember what it is right now uh, doesn't absorb the serotonin. It's just kind of sitting there, um, and you can get dangerous levels of it building up. That's what serotonin syndrome is. That's what I, I have now is I had too much serotonin, uh, and it, it can be toxic and fatal. So um, what happens... Uh, is the the, uh, the body self-regulates. So if the serotonin isn't picked up fast enough, uh, the uh, uh, the cell that gave it out will actually take it back. So again, you don't get something like this. Um, and uh, what ends up happening is you get a serotonin imbalance. It's not uh, you're not getting enough serotonin to, uh, and it's not transmitting the right messages the way it's supposed to, and that can cause depression and anxiety and all these other things. So SSRI, Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors, what they do is they prevent the, um, uh, the, the, the cell that puts out the serotonin, they prevent it from taking the serotonin back as quickly to basically give the other cell a little bit more time to do its job. Um, and uh, a lot of studies have shown that that can be very beneficial because the problem that they're attempting to fix is uh, uh, an imbalance in serotonin and, and neurotransmitters in general not getting the information to the correct portions of the brain into the rest of the body, etc. So that's how an SSRI works. Um, in my specific case, um, the drug worked too well. Um, and I uh, basically overdosed on serotonin. I have too much serotonin, and that's what's caused the convulsions. Um, I also have uh, uh, an elevated um, body temperature. I'm just, for God, almost a month now, uh, I'm just barely, um, I'm, I'm two-tenths of a degree below 100 degrees um, Fahrenheit, for those of you that don't use the Fahrenheit system. Um, the... Uh, Average body temperature for um, uh, a human is uh, around 98.6 degrees, roughly. It varies between people, uh, but mine's been elevated regularly um, for over a month now, or, or for about a month, month now, which means I'm always hot, I'm sweating all the time, and then the, the, the shaking thing. It's really not a fun system. So anyway, the reason I'm, I'm saying all of this is right now I still have – 
fluoxetine in my system. It's still inhibiting the serotonin reuptake. And so that's why I'm still shaking. Now, it's not getting worse because I'm not adding more to it. Um, so it's, it's not like I'm in danger of dying or anything right now. Um, but until all the fluoxetine is out of my system, this is kind of the reality f for me. Um, so bare minimum, I have another week or two of the fluoxetine still being in my system. And then once it's completely out, then the rest of my body s starts to, to heal. And hopefully all this stuff goes away. Uh, again, I don't understand all of it. This is, this is as, as much as I understand. Um, theoretically, um, there's, there's, there's always a, a possibility that the damage done could be permanent um, or portions of it could be permanent or that what we're seeing here, which is indicative of serotonin syndrome, uh, is actually something else completely. Um, and the serotonin syndrome simply um, made it more visible. Um, so there's, there's, that, there's not a whole lot that uh, anyone knows about this. I, I have a very atypical reaction to this, um, mostly because I was on a very, very low dose of this SSRI. Um, and generally, serotonin syndrome only shows up in people um, who are either already on medications or are using other um, uh, narcotics or, or, or other drugs that affect uh, your serotonin levels. Uh, because I wasn't and they put me on such a slow dose, theoretically this shouldn't have happened. So obviously I'm weird. Um, not just weird personality-wise, I mean weird biologically. Um, so yeah, uh, that was the, the, the basics of what we talked about. The, the convulsions themselves are getting better. Um, I'm having lo longer periods of time where they're very mild or non-existent, uh, even when I'm off the drugs. Um, but those uh, periods of time are very few and, and far in between. For the most part, I'm like this unless I'm on the Valium, which means I'm, I'm super, super out of it. So that's my, that's my life right now. Um, I'm, uh, I'm trying to, 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 to move forward and I'm, and I'm trying to, uh, continue to, uh, do the, the, the things that I, I can do with the, the convulsions. It makes it very difficult to do a lot of different things. Um, using my phone uh, has become almost a nightmare because of the convulsions and then the tremor in my arm is just really, really weird. Um, so, you know, basic stuff like that is really, really hard for me, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting through it. The doctor is, is, is very optimistic because there, there has been um, very, very, very slow um, improvement uh, of the, the, the convulsions, much, much slower than I wanted. I was hoping that since I was only on the drug for like uh, a little over a week, I was hoping like a week or two it would be over. And yeah, it's it's been pretty rough finding out that it's going to take a month just for the drugs to get out of my system. And then theoretically it could be another two months before I'm, f I'm f f f fully done with this. So anyway, that's my, 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 my update today. Um, I have an idea for another video I want to do to, tonight. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off or not, but I hopefully will be caught up to like one day behind Daily December uh, very soon. Uh, anyway, that, that's all for me today. I'll see you guys n next time.